ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ आवर ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टोर आवर इमेज इनटू आवर एसक्यूएल लाइव डेटाबेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ मॉडल क्लास एंड दोस ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी यूज्ड एज अ कंटेंट वैल्यू इनसाइड आवर एप्लीकेशन सो लेट मी क्रिएट द मॉडल क्लास जस्ट क्लिक ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट ऐप जावा एंड हियर राइट क्लिक ऑन इट न्यू java class and name i'm going to name it model class okay as in the object of model class we are going to store two things string image name and then we are going to store a bitmap that would be actually an image now i'm going to create a constructor for this and to get and set the image i'm going to create a getter and setter method for both of these values let me set these to private okay so that's it's for the model class in the next step i'm going to create a database handler class that will be used to create the database and then to create the table inside the database and then to add image into our database okay so right click again on your project inside java folder new java class here i'm going to name it database handler and here i'm going to extend sqlite database open helper class then click okay and now implement the methods for this class and create a matching constructor for this class okay the first thing i'm going to ch change is um i only need context over here so i will be passing a context context no first thing that you need to create is the variable of the context class context after that create a variable for your database name that would be private static string database name and i'm going to name it my database dot db now create a version number for that private static int database version and version number would be equal to 1 now change these parameters to database name we are not going to call any factory method so put null over here no pass the database version over here okay so in the next step i am going to create a query for creating a table inside our database so i would be saying private static string create table query and this would be equal to create table i'm going to name it image info and the first field would be image name and this would be of type text and the second field would be image itself and this would be of type blob and close the query okay that's it so as you all know that in the on create method create our database for the very first time then our on create method runs so i'm going to create the table inside our database when very first time our database will be created so let me surround this with try catch block and now here i'm going to call db execute sql and here i would pass the query that we have just created over here okay so if the database successfully created then i will create a toast over here table created successfully inside our database okay that's it for this method in the next 
I'm going to create a method that will actually use to store our image inside our database. So let me create that method. I would be saying public wide store image and we will store one image at a time and here I'm going to pass the object of our model class in which we will store our image name and our image itself. So I will be passing that object over here which is model class and here I would call object model class and let me surround this method with try catch block just copying catch block from here pasting over here okay so in the very first step I'm going to create the object of our database SQLite database class that will be used to run the query for that purpose get writable database okay next we are going to get our image in the form of bitmap from this class okay so I will be creating bitmap over here bitmap image to store bit bitmap would equal to object model class dot get image okay so as you all know that we can't store our bitmap directly into our database for that purpose convert our bitmap into our byte so in order to convert our bitmap into byte stream let me first create a variable over here with the name private byte ray output stream equals to object byte ray auto output stream and this would be equal to object byte array output stream would equal to new byte ray output stream next we are going to convert this bitmap into our object byte ray output stream so i would be calling image to store bitmap dot compress bitmap dot compress format dot jpg and quality will be 100 and after that i will be passing object byte output stream okay so in the next step i'm going to store this byte array output stream into a byte array for that purpose let me create a byte array over here private byte and i will be calling it image in byte Okay, so now I'm going to store this byte array output strip into our byte. Okay, so image into byte would equal to object byte array string dot to byte array. So as we have converted our image into our byte array, now just we have to put into content values object. So to put into content values object, just first create the object of content values, content values after creating the object just add the values dot put first we would be storing the image name that is image name okay so key would be image name and image we have stored into our object model class that get image name next thing I am going to put into our content values object is image itself okay so this would be our image into image in bytes after that just run the query that would be object sqlite dot insert and we are going to insert into table and the name of table is image info so I'm going to call image info. Second thing I'm going to have the null object, and next I'm going to pass the object of content values. And if this query runs successfully, it will return a long check. If query runs, it will return a value other than zero. So I will say if 
check if query is not equals to zero it means this value is successfully added into our databases so i will run a toast data added into our table else in the else part we would say toast fails to add data and in the first step in the first if condition just close the object that we have opened over here so this would be minus one instead of zero okay now i'm moving back into our main activity to call this method to call the method first we have to create the object of our database handler class this would be object database handler class and inside the on create method i'm going to initialize this object this would be equal to new database handler class and context would be this okay now i'm going to create a method over here that would be public wide store image and to make it clickable i'm passing view check and then surround this with try cat block just after that here i would be calling object database handle class dot store image but inside the store image we have to pass the object of our model class before that let me add the condition image name header text should not be empty and at the same time our image object image view dot get viable should not equal to null so if these both are not null then we will run this method otherwise we will create a toast that please select image name and image okay so here i'm going to pass the new object for our model class that would be new model class and first we are going to pass the name that would be stored in image details ct dot get text dot to string after that we are going to pass a bitmap here and we have stored our bitmap over here into our image store image to store so i would pass that image to store over here okay let me check if image to store sh should not be equal to null as well okay so that's it uh, now i'm going to call this store image method into on click of our save btn on click store image so we uh, have computed coding for our save image btn so let me run this application so our application is ready let me first try to add an image without putting the name so it is saying please select an image or name so i would be saying first let me select the image from our gallery I select this image young boy I would be saying boy okay no just let me add the image so it is saying that content so we are getting exceptional if we check into our constructor of database handler class we haven't passed this local variable into our context variable that is creating a null object reference so first let me call this this dot context would equal to context so this was a little mistake so let me run the application again so let me choose the image again 
I'm going to use the same image name. Just click on save image data and data added into our application. Let me choose another image. This one and I'm going to name it man. Let me add data added into our table. Okay, if I choose another image, this would be ghost. And let me click on save image okay so we have added an image into our database in the next video I'm going to get this image back into our recycler view so see you guys in the next video